I think she thinks that I'm a girl. I think you look like a girl. I think you are a girl. That's a baby, remember? That's pieces. That's true. Yeah. When you're an infant, to you, you look like a girl. <sighs> Welcome to the You Can't Just Make It Up Club. Um, a lesbian couple in California want their 11-year-old boy to become a girl. Thomas Lobel, who now calls himself Tammy, is undergoing a controversial hormone-blocking treatment to stop him going through puberty as a boy. Now, the parents, who I believe should be charged with abuse, are Pauline Moreno and Deborah Lobel. Uh, Tanya Allen is a mom, an activist, and, and wonderfully normal. And, you know, there, there are times when you can laugh at things. Th this actually is, is, is grotesque. It's, it's monstrous. The child, obviously, th there's a, a speech impediment, perhaps even retardation, I don't know. Um, they've taken this child, and the idea that at the age of eight, this child said, I, w I want to be a girl. But well, you know that hasn't happened. I mean, look at the, the, the two women. They seem to have various issues, for goodness sake. And, and they're indoctrinating this little thing. Well, actually, the child said at the age of three that he wanted to be a girl. Um, you know, as a, as a mother of a three-year-old, I can tell you children have whims and fantasies. Um, my daughter recently insisted that I treat her like a cat. She wanted to be a feline. Uh, does that mean that I'm going to start processes and procedures to change her into a cat? No. Um, I'll go buy her a costume. I'm not going to start uh, down a path that permanently changes her into a cat. Mm. In this case, this this boy will be permanently changed for the rest of his life. And it, it, so you're quite right. Kids want to be a dolphin, want to be a dinosaur. These are all harmless. They're, they're quite lovely. It's part of the imagination. Mm -hmm. And even I mean, dressing up opposite gender. Well, it could be slightly worrying, but again, don't want to overreact to this. But th this is changing the process of the body. This is, I mean, if someone said, well, you know, I really don't like that arm, I'm going to cut part of the arm off, we would say there's obviously child abuse. This, in many ways, is even more profound. Well, that's it. I mean, you have adults making decisions on behalf of a child, um, and the child, well, actually, what it is, is the child dictating what the child wants done. Yeah. And the parent saying, okay, that's no problem. I, I mean, I think the responsible thing to do would be just to hold off let the child turn into an adult and hopefully mature, and then make a decision maybe in his early 20s. But to do this kind of thing now, uh, you're going down a very, very dangerous path. You know, we, we had a case with this lunatic white supremacist. Uh, they had children and they'd ordered a, ordered a birthday cake with a swastika on it, and, and there was intervention. The children were taken away, put back, taken away again. It, it's a debate we can have. They, they've, we're not fools. They've obviously influenced this child that they have. You see them. They're, they're, they're extreme people. Actually, let's, let's have a look at the video now, can we? So what we've done for Tammy is to put him on hormone blockers. It's only been about a month. And when she's ready, she'll be able to decide which way she's going to go through puberty. She will, she will have either female hormones or she'll stop the hormone blockers and become a man. And that's what the blocker does, is bides her time to mature um, and time for us to kind of catch up with her. Because she runs, because she's running this fast. I believe the state should intervene. They should take the child away. They should charge these two. I would hope they'd be uh, convicted and spend time in prison for what they're doing. They're, they're abusing that child. Well, it's, it's, like I said, it's permanent stuff. We're talking like permanent cosmetic surgery. It, it's ridiculous to think that, you know, a four-year-old has their likes and dislikes set for life, or even an eight-year-old, or even a teenager. I mean, all parents know children change their mind. This cannot be changed once you start going down that path. You probably know this, that in this country and in the United States, if, if foster parents, if potentially adopted parents, if they say they're Christian, for example, mm -hmm. or, or Muslim, and they don't affirm the homosexual lifestyle, they can be denied a child. If you smoke, understandably, I suppose, to a degree, you might be denied a child. If you would ever even give a gentle spank on the bum, you can be denied a child. Correct. They have the child. It's a dangerous path. It's a dangerous path. But at this case, they have their child. The child has decided to do this. But you know what? the child has, and the child hasn't well, the decided child has, anything. The child has made this decision. The point is, the child is a child, so we don't listen and, and, and say, okay, whatever the child dictates, we will do. I mean, if society ran that way, we'd run amok. Right now, what we have is the child dictating what he wants for the rest of his life. He's immature. He doesn't know. He's eight or he's 11 now. This is it's just ridiculous. They're, they're calling him her. Uh, this little boy is using a girl's name. I, I believe they've encouraged that they've, they've pushed this. Uh, Again, the assumption is always that the rest of society is stupid. We don't understand what goes on. I think it's very obvious what is going on here. And in a way, I can even understand. I, I believe they're quite radical in their politics and, and they're lesbians. And, and so this whole 
this whole context of sex change and transgendered mm -hmm. and, and, and fluid sexuality is probably meat and drink to them and they're imposing something but I just I, I find it extraordinary that you can actually lose your child a biological parent could have a child removed at least briefly if not permanently for mm -hmm. a spank on the bum but this, and many people are saying, it's oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't well, it wonderful? At the end of the day, they're they're hacking off his penis for the rest of his life. Well, if, well, if, I suppose chemically, yes. I no, mean, physically, they're going to want to. Fi they said they before they start the, they're going to start hormonally, but they're going to end up going through plastic surgery. If he decides. Yes, if he decides when he's fourteen. Yeah. What fourteen-year-old knows what they want for the rest of their life? I. I I sometimes think about my mum and dad, God rest their souls, how they would react to this sort of thing. It's just ordinary, decent, normal people in this country, in the US and Britain, just, you know, tolerate, be nice to people. It, but it ends with this sort of crap. I mean, this is horrendous it what is. is going on. It's an outrage. Oh, I'm outraged. I'm no. outraged too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Thank God for people like you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Michael.